Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome, this is Unit 1, Captain of the Flying Dutchman. First of all, don't mind my birds talking in the background. Today I'm gonna share a build with you guys. Uh, I hope I will not disappoint a lot of you guys because it's not gonna be a PvP build, but a PvE. Um, I'm gonna show you to do more than 50k DPS uh, with a tactical odyssey. I know a lot of you guys really want to see a PvP build. I shared once one, uh, you can find it, it's called Ghost Build. Uh, the reason why I don't share my PvP builds uh, that often is because it will give me a huge disadvantage in a 1v1 or arena match. And besides, I don't like players to be tend, pretend to be good PvP player, while they're not even able to make their own PvP build. So that's one of the reasons I don't like to share PvP builds. So I hope to uh, yeah, remove that uh, frequently, frequently asked question out of this world. And uh, let's start on my P of a PVE build. It's anti-proton build. Um, of course, if you want to do a PVP, um, anti-proton build based. Please don't get this encouraged if you see all uh, epics because it really shouldn't matter uh, that much. It's only like six, seven k difference. So that's like um, eleven till twelve percent worst case scenario. Um, why I did all anti-protons? Because you're trying to um, exploit the critical chance and the crit severity chance. Uh, that's why you're gonna go for anti-proton. Um, I like to use the overload proc because the overload proc um, yeah, gives you another extra nice damage. It's a free beam overload one that can um, yeah, there's like 2.5% chance it will do actually, uh, yeah, and that uh, beam overload one, which of course, uh, like, yeah, two times in a hundred shots. So that's really nice, I like that. Um, as you can see, I'm running two omnidirectional anti-proton beams. Um, it's not an exploit, you can actually do it, because one is the agent uh, omnidirectional beam, and the other one is an uh, Proton beam. Why I'm using two, uh, the Asian one? Um, it's because I like to use the Asian two bonus set, um, which gives you, oops, which gives you another 10% um, anti-proton damage. If you like, you can see here 10% anti-proton extra, which is really nice. Again. This build doesn't have to cost money, um, but then you would lose two consoles, and that's the Tecchio Kinetic Converter uh, and the uh, Bioneuro Infusion Share. You get them from the lobby store, uh, they cost uh, like 200 lobbies each, um, which they increase your critical severity and your critical chance. For the people who don't know uh, what it is, it's a uh, critical chance, it's actually a chance that you will trigger the uh, critical severity extra damage. So for one shot you can get, in this case, 109% extra damage and you have got a chance of 22.7%. Normally it's a very low uh, for a human being, uh, I am human like real, uh, in real life. so I. But I make a human um, tactical officer. If you're a Romulan, you can get it much higher. But we're talking now about about a tactical odyssey, so all human based. Um, and to get it this high, uh, you've got some uh, tricks. Of course, you need to use uh, the um, vulnerability locators. Again, they don't have to be epic. So keep that in mind, they don't have to be epic. Uh, uh, yeah, they give you almost 2% extra critical chance. And then of course the Borg uh, assimilated module, uh, they give you another 1.2% plus an 11% critical severity. And then the Techio Kinetic Converter uh, gives you another 1.2% uh, critical chance. And 12.5 critical severity, the zero point energy conduit, you uh, get another 2.2 critical chance, 
and it gives you 2.2 plus power to all subsystems which is really nice because you really want to have your power your weapons power as high as possible I've got it over 125 but it works you cannot see more than 125 to show you I'm gonna remove this console that gives me another uh, 5 and still says 125 it goes higher it's been proven it cannot only be uh, presented in game so you really want to keep it up as high as possible your energy weapons so uh, when you're doing this run uh, make sure you've got the weapon, uh, weapon system efficiency on as well um, now we come to the uh, bioneural infusion circuit that gives you another 25% critical security and another um, starship structure, uh, structural integrity which you really want to have because if you can see if you're using an anti-proton uh, build it always costs you a lot of defense normally you would stack uh, for example uh, engineering each other neutron alloys to give you a much more defense but this PVE build is squeezy keep that in mind so you will lose a lot of tankiness where you get used to in um, yeah in an odyssey you'll drop it immensely so this build will not, I say again, will not work in PvP, they will blow you up instantly. They will throw a rock at your build and it will explode. So keep that in mind uh, and that's why this console is actually a little bit nice because it gives you some more uh, improved hit uh, points. Um, yeah, I like to use the um, Jemadar Combat Impulse Engines because it gives me another extra uh, weapon power. Um, this console, because it provides me uh, energy uh, weapon damage um, and the shield, because this one has got a high uh, plasma uh, damage resistance, but you can pick any shield which gives you plasma, this, uh, yeah, plasma this, uh, yeah, defends you against plasma. I'm sorry I'm a Dutch guy, as you all probably would know. But so that's a little bit about the build itself. Um, yeah, I've seen a video scrolling around YouTube of people doing like 67k uh, damage in an as a technical officer in a uh, science Odyssey class, but they were just exploiting this uh, console. They've been nerfed a lot, like 25%, and they cannot crit hit chance anymore. So no extra 110% uh, percent, uh, damage when you're actually have a crit hit which I like in PvP because it was really getting a little bit overpowered so in that way I don't mind but I know the most of you watching this video are PvEers at the moment so I can I can feel your pain if you are a DPS chaser um, of course the uh, Plasmonic Leech is a must if you really don't have it I will show you a small trick then this um, this Mako uh, shield will um, provide you some comfort by giving you a plus two to all power settings for 50 seconds and it may stack up to 5 now. so could be a good alternative for the Plasmonic Leads they don't stack with each other so if you are running them both it really doesn't matter because they won't improve it anyway more than it already does um, yeah, you see it correctly. I'm running now two uh, universal assimilated modules. How you do it, it's upgrade one and leave the other one uh, untouched. So don't even put it in the upgrade screen, but just leave it untouched and you'll be able to run two. Uh, and as you can see, it gives you a higher critical chance and a higher critical security. But the Plasmonic Leech will increase your um, DPS more. So just go for them. Okay, then we take a look at the uh, trades you should run. Um, at least what I think what you should run uh, is at least the emergency power uh, of emergency weapon side. This trade comes with the Avenger class. I know I would do a lot more damage in the Avenger class, but I love the Odyssey and the Odyssey build. It gives you another 7 till 10k uh, DPS. So it's really a must uh, if you want to do a lot of damage. Um, the all hands on deck 
is also very nice to use. Um, it comes with the, uh, I believe, the command cruiser, I'm not sure. But it gives you a chance to use more alpha strikes and um, tactical fleets, uh, which is really nice, and even go down fight. That's what I do like about this. It might be a little bit um, squeezy, but it gives you a high chance to have actually running go down fighting, which gives you another extra buff on your um, yeah damage. Please, if you're gonna make a, a DPS build, don't forget to put your attack patterns uh, in your uh, T binds tactical fleet because you really want to have them running. So don't forget that. And then again, this all hands on deck. Uh, trade will help you cycle them even faster. So these two are really nice and this one, uh, the improved pedal to the metal. Please guys, unlock this trade. It's so important if you've got another seat. It gives you 20% uh, damage. Yeah, in total. You're up. In an Odyssey it's a slow ship so you're running a full impulse all the time so it means another 20% extra damage which is awesome. And then um, we take a look at the demolition teams. You could put another one in reciprocity or whatever. Uh, I like to uh, use this one anyway because reciprocity doesn't really work um, on an AUX to bed build. Uh, I will come to that later. Uh, because your cooldowns cannot be nerfed faster than out of bed anyway. So. It's a cheap alt uh, alternative for uh, if you're not running out of bed. Uh, they are selling the exchange actually, the reciprocity trade. So you don't have to buy a ship, you can find them on the exchange. Whenever you get missed by a target, they reduce your cooldowns uh, or your technical abilities. So it's a nice trade. And of course, then we come again with anti-proton. You want to have your critical uh, severity chance, uh, your critical hit chance as high as possible. So please put on precision. Please do that. And of course, have your um, enchantment rending shots on, on as well. Get that uh, trait as um, your critical hit chance as high as possible. There's another way to get it even more higher, uh, and that's uh, with this um, tactical uh, Romulan officers. You can get them from the embassy. They cost like 10k of Delidium, if I'm correct. Uh, they are worth it because uh, Sinem and Thai, in this case, um, do uh, gives you another 2% critical chance and another 5% critical security, which is a must in a, um, an anti-proton build. Normally in PvP I would definitely use accuracy uh, instead of all the other procs because if you've got facing any escort they, they've got this bonus defense by their uh, maneuverability so whenever you then uh, miss them uh, and they're running for example the reciprocity trace they get another cooldowns on their um, tactical um, ability so and of course you want to hit them to do damage so I always go for accuracy but for PvE, especially in an ISA run, it really doesn't matter because because um, the the targets are sitting still. They're sitting uh, sitting ducks anyway. So, um, accuracy is not a must. Although if you're gonna go for accuracy and you uh, get it higher than 100%, it goes to your uh, critical chance. So everything higher uh, than 100% of uh, accuracy it will go right to your critical chance. But it's really hard to get it uh, with this build higher than 100% uh, anyway. Well guys, I'm gonna show you now a video how this build will actually do in an uh, ISA run. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I say again, this build does more than 50k damage. Uh, easily so you don't have to run all epics um, I hope I give you some insights I almost got to show you my um, active space officer officer I like to use the uh, um, 
recharge evasive maneuvers. Uh, the only reason why I like to do that is because uh, I can run uh, to the other side in an ISA run. I'm running this uh, officer as well. It's available on the exchange. It gives you 10% uh, all damage gas bonus, which is really uh, nice. Uh, so it gives you another 10% extra DPS. Well guys, um, I say again, this is my point of view of uh, having uh, squeezed all the possible DPS out of an Odyssey at the moment. Uh, probably in the, two, in the future they will um, come with better consoles. I don't know. But this is how I do it now. Uh, if you've got uh, some adjustments or tips to give me, you're always welcome to do it. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to go. And we wait for pets? No, right? No. It's, not gonna, it's, it's a pug. We're not gonna wait yeah, for pets. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. We're not what? what? I saw a guy warp in it as a person. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, that's funny. This sometimes happens. Oh, there is some kind of lag here, I know that. Indeed it is. There's so much lag, <laughs> it just flew by the, 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 the cube, this is awesome. Way too much lag, wow. Who's Cosmo? Who's Edgras? That's fun, right? Popping the thingy from the set. I wish to hope and get down fighting, but they're all popping too fast to actually hurt me. <laughs> oh, I'm rubber banding us. Freaking bad. I wonder who's the cause of this, because... Raven. Yeah, are you that Raven? What am I doing? No, I, I think, think it's Edgar. Edgar. I don't know. Are you causing the lag? That could be the problem technical feed. Maybe of your DPS. You know what, Raven? There's a time when you have to, you know, lower your DPS, man. Need heals, need heals.
I'm inside the cube. I don't know how, but I'm inside it. I guess because you find the hole, my friend. <laughs> That's great, right? It is, but the last time that happened, you get a daughter, so be careful. Oh my god, it's going to be like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. That's, That's a low low low. <laughs> You can get your record? Oh, I probably did really shitty. Everything was dead before I even got there. Where, where are the numbers? Tell me you're the number one. Nice! I got 50k, yes! Well, thank you, my friends. I don't know I don't how know. that was possible. You were lagging so badly. Hey, I'm nice. So even if I didn't have any lag, I would do even more damage. So, so this, this is your best, best, right? Congratulations! This dude just hit 12. He's got purple mark 12 thingies.